Welcome to the Scorpio Wolf Tarot. Thank you for joining me. This is your host, JC. Thank you. Thank you again for coming in and watching these videos. This is going to be a twin flame reading out of the point of view of the divine masculine. So the DM. DM to DF. Uh, what they're thinking kind of thing. Yesterday we kind of did a you versus them, uh, DF versus DM kind of reading. So this one's just more from the point of view of the DM and what's going on in their head kind of thing so um that being said you know let's get to your reading i've already got gone ahead and dealt the cards out um and, and just remember not everything will resonate with you All the readings are meant to be timeless so when you're meant to see and hear them that is when you're meant to see and hear them and also the roles could be reversed so flip it as you may see fit so i could be describing a situation that you know is specific to you and on your thing or you might have to flip it to understand better understand the other point of view so just kind of keep that in mind as we go through the, the images and, and the pictures. So, and also, you know, also be intuitive about what you see. You know, I might be interpreting one way and you might see a different message being, gleaming out to you. So keep a, keep an eye out for those cards because those cards are really important to the imagery and the cards really kind of get you. That's why I like showing the cards. Unlike other readers, they don't show the cards. I like showing the cards because then you get the imagery of what I'm kind of seeing. So that, that being said, let's get to your reading. So... <clears throat> The main energy, the main energy that you have is a strength card. Now, the strength card is really one of those cards that's it's about, you know, I kind of feel like the DM feels that the DF or the divine feminine is, you know, drawing lovers to them. You know, they they see that person as a strong, you know, loving individual. You know, they fight, they find them passionate and fiery. Uh, so that's what that kind of energy. It's a fiery and passionate energy. Uh, it's very intense emotions, you know, uh, it's a strong relationship and it, it can kind of like prone the DM to be more angry, more jealous, uh, emotion explosions. So there's like, bro, there's a lot of pros and cons to having this card in this relationship and especially this twin flame relationship between the DF and the DM, you know, it's a, you know, cause strength is really that compassionate card, empathy, inner strength, you know, those are the qualities that attract people to other people and this is what your df the, your, if you're the dm this is what the df is kind of you know showing the world it's, it's like they're very attractive they're very you know it's going to cause a lot of jealousy for the dm to see them glow up and be incredibly attractive to other people so it's gonna it's gonna break bring some the dm to kind of take a look look at the situation and kind of look at it from a different point of view you know they're they're shining bright because they have a high standards. They have a very high standards. It was just crossed by the king of king of swords, and that's where the standards of king of swords is. You know very high standards when it comes to love. They're controlling their emotions. They're they're being empathetic. They're only being empathetic when they need to be empathetic. Um, this is about being cool and control, but at still at the same time ambitious. Um, they do have emotions, but they're very restrained. Um, they rely on their intelligence and their logic. Um, they reproach the relationships, any kind of relationship, they, they reproach it re ethically and respectfully. They might not be rom romantic at first, and they might express their feeling, feelings a little bluntly, but uh, I kind of feel that this is this is, this is is just that putting that high standard, and I think with the Twin Flame, you already have a high standard that it is, because trying to replace a Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine is a very high standard. It's very, it's very hard to do. Um, so that's kind of what I'm getting with the main energy. Now, what's going on with you, um, DMs? So right now, I kind of feel that you guys are in the Nine of Swords position. You guys are staying, you're, you're, you're kind of like in a suspicious of your partner, you're suspicious of your twin flame. Uh, there's a lot of anxiety and fears escalating from this, this card being pulled. Uh, you might be having, something might be keeping you up at night. You can't think of, you know, there's a lot of fears, anxiety about the future. You know, there's a lot of guilt for, you know, leaving your DF the way you did. A lot of remorse, insecurities. You know, this is about trusting your that partner. This, this trusting your twin flame. Um, you need to understand where these feelings are coming true, truly from. Uh, and, it, you know, these anxieties are probably keeping you from looking at the problem as well. It's, it's just keeping you, you know, instead of, like, focusing on the issues that you know made you separate you're kind of dwelling on them and not trying to resolve the issues because that's the part of the twin flame journey you try to resolve these issues um so it's time to open up your eyes kind of look through and work through your issues 
like I said, it's 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 a lot of sadness, a lot of regret. There's a lot of things that you you know you, they're thinking about what things in the past that you could have done differently to keep this relationship going. But keep in mind that everything in the past has been done and done for. You only can focus on the now and the future. So whatever you do now is determined of your future. Now, why are you being kept up at night? Well, because your your DF is radiating so brightly and radiating so you know so you know with this the sun energy of the lion you kind of you kind of in the back of your mind kind of have that feeling that they have all these choices there's a lot of people coming after there's a lot of people coming after ddf really a lot of people with the seven of cups there's a lot of you know choices a lot of choices that you it's just made up in your head you know this is a you know you think you're, you're thinking that they're choosing between different lovers they have so many people wanting to be with them and they really don't really have that many choices. They really have just that one choice that they really want to get to. But there's, you know, there's could be decisions going on. You're like, well, it's like, are they going to, you know, get, get with this person to this person? This person's kind of moving in on my territory. You know, it, that's the anxiety. It's the anxiety. That's the whole thing about the anxiety with the, the Twin Flame journey. Um, thinking the other person is uh, is out there, you know, trying to be with as many people as they can so it's about trusting your instinct you know a lot of the choices that they have are like very they're not they're very illusional so this is i kind of feel that for the dm they're just kind of thinking all this up in their head of how their D, df is out there you know dating it up dating it up with all these different people and and they're left you know crying and sulking in your bed right at, at night so um but a lot of strength and a lot of uh, taking charge of your situation so uh, very high standards when it comes to relationships, so thank you. For, uh, and that's kind of where I'm going to leave this reading at. I uh, will try to do the DF uh, side of the coin tomorrow and put that out there for you guys. But thank you for joining me, and y'all have a great day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to for, for, and to so that you can get more contents on Twin Flame and the Twin Flame journey. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, and y'all have a great day.